yeah okay fine so uh, good evening to all good evening to all i hope uh, everyone can hear me right sir no yes, yes. Right? yeah yes. okay and uh, uh, my screen is visible to everyone right is right see here uh, we are going to starting uh, the sequel uh, course here in uh, in our short trainings okay see uh, totally three demo sessions will be there for you the demo sessions are free as of now and uh, after three demo sessions uh, uh, we are going to giving the accesses to them uh, who are enrolling the students for them only we are going to giving the access so who are uh, interested after the demo sessions uh, please uh, go through our team they will uh, try to help you uh, enroll you uh, enroll to this course okay fun clear everyone Yes, uh, we are here, sir. How are you, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you so much. Uh, who's this? I'm Sarala. I last batch I joined, sir, and I left that due to mm -hmm. some. Okay, okay, Sarala. It's okay, no problem. You can continue in this. Uh, uh, yes, sure. okay, no problem. Thank you for that. Thank you for joining again. Thanks for interest. Your interest in our uh, Hasha trainings. We appreciate you. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So we are going to discussing something about we are going to learning something about the database which is SQL. Okay. See, uh, I hope everyone uh, something aware on SQL. But if anyone I uh, mean don't have aware on that particularly SQL the database, uh, you can learn here. No need to worry. See, once we, uh, uh, I mean, once we are done with the SQL course, uh, you can get uh, uh, many opportunities. Why? Because without a database, there is nothing. We know that. Yes or no? Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Without yes, sir. a database, we are nothing. So, if yes, we are sir. having the database, means why the database? See, the database, if you need to, one more thing I need to say, if you have to enter into your uh, IT sector, you should know one database it's mandatory it's a mandatory okay if whether you're working with uh, i mean coding technologies whether you are working with non-coding technologies okay whatever it is but the database should be need to you to enter into the it sector it's very very important to anyone whether you are fresher whether you're experienced persons who are it is okay whoever it is for whoever it is it's very very important okay so for that the database developing we are going to see that okay developing the database or uh, developing the database means what do you know about the database anyone why we need to use the database to store the data to store the data if anyone asking you define the database store the data retrieve the data um, exactly. Basically, data is in where, form of table. Table. Exactly. Where we can store the data to retire with the data. Okay. Where we can store the data in the tabular form. That will be called as a database. Okay. Okay. Now, to store the data, we are having many technologies. Okay. In that, we are discussing something about the SQL. Okay. To store the databases, we are having many sources. Right. See, you can store the data in clouds also. Okay, you can store the data on premise. Uh, I mean, you can store the data in SQL also. We are having many technologies are there. Why we are going to choose the SQL only? We'll see that. We'll see that. Okay, fine. Now I'm going to show you. See, simple PPT. It is uh, see, and uh, for these three demos, I will show you. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, only the PPT, the theoretical part only. And once we are understanding that, the basic concepts of the Power BI. Sorry, basic concepts of the database. Okay. Uh, sorry to say this. Uh, I'm also teaching the Power Bay here. That's why, uh, unfortunately, I, I used that. Sorry for that. Okay. See the databases. Okay. The databases will be used to store the data. Whatever the data, the business users, whoever is there, they are maintaining some databases. Whether they need to store the data in the database, they can store here. Whether they need to store the data in clouds, they will be stored here. Store in clouds. See, even if they need to store the data, in the cloud also they will be maintained on sql database even if they need to store the data in the databases in the sorry in the clouds in the clouds also they will be maintained on sql database okay so now what is the common thing you have to know 
the sequel you have to know minimum if you need to enter into the it sector you should know about something about the sequel okay that's why that's why just i'm giving you a simple a simple introduction about that okay what we are going to see is what is the sequel okay see simply i'm saying that see whenever we are going to learn in any one technology okay whenever we are going to learn any one technology we should know about what is that okay when it is okay why it is okay what it is why it is when it is and how it will be working if you are if you are clear with these points and then you will get a clear picture about the technology and then you are be ready to learn that clear everyone so for that in this agenda we are going to see that what is sql why we need to use that and how it will be working and the history of the sql we are going to see that okay most popular databases also we are going to see why because uh, in the market many databases are there to store the data okay so those popular databases also will see that okay now here we are going to see the mysql i let you know why the mysql we are having many uh, mean, uh, many platforms many in environments to write the queries and all but we are going to see the only mysql i let you know why it is okay and apart from that how to install it is just simple i let you know that please try to understand it if you have any queries okay if you have any doubts i'll give you 10 minutes of time okay end of the session you can ask me that clear everyone i hope everyone clear with this right okay clear now we are going to see something yeah. here okay do you know below this do you know below this what is no, november 8 2016 what happened can anyone please can anyone please what happened november 2018 sorry november 8 2016 is it our Sorry. WTC Tava Kadan Punta. Then what? United States then presidential what? election. Okay. I got two answers. Someone saying the elections. Demonetization. Uh, demonetizations of bank that? notes demonetization exactly. bank yeah, notes. yeah demonetization demonetization right see the notes thousand rupees notes so uh thousand rupees notes are ba banded right okay yes 500 notes are 500 notes are new notes they are released from the rbi yes or no yes or no 2000 yes. rupees notes also has been issued. introduced to us okay issued to us right now now what is the 21st march hmm. what happens are you are saying only one thing it is monday <laughs> okay fine thank you so much ma'am okay 21st march okay See, if I'm asking that without having this, okay, without having this, if I'm asking when leap the year. Monday is leap year, okay, leap year. 21st March, okay, 81st Five. leap year, 81st leap year, very good, super, good answer. What is this, February 2009? Two thousand and Feb. What happened? Give some options, sir. We will tell. Sorry. Give two or three options. <laughs> I'm not conducting anyone quiz, madam. Here, okay. Just I'm asking. You, what do you know about it? What do you know about it? This. See why I'm asking is when I'm asking this date, when I'm asking this date, something information you are giving to me. How it is possible? Database, it is? sir. 
database okay something the data is there something data is there in your uh, in your google okay something data is stored in that okay you are searching that and then you are getting how it is how it is whatever the issue is there directly that issue going to storing in that okay see if anyone say that uh, uh, see uh, we are having uh, uh, the cricket matches right 2020 and the final matches okay if anyone uh, answer for my question okay uh, who did uh, i mean a good score in last uh, final match which is a uh, world cup in our india team who did good score what happened man yeah highest right even yes. if you don't know for my question even if you don't know the answer for my question directly you can go on such that you will get it the answer yes right how yes, yes. how it is something information something data is stored in somewhere okay so stored in somewhere if i don't know even if i don't know what is 21st march actually i i forgot that mention one year here that's why i'm uh, uh, confident i'm not saying that sorry for that but the, uh, you have to understand the theme here okay the concept you have to understand what i'm trying to say you have to understand it okay and apart from that 2009 february also one more thing is there 2009 february there is one thing you can find out even if you don't know that and upcoming upcoming day upcoming day very very interesting day to anyone sorry for this actually i'm not a painter please try to understand it okay what is this valentine's day valentine's day anything is there apart from that black, 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 rose, black day black day black day black day it is right Hello. black day we, yes. we know that okay what happened on that day? Hmm. Why no, they attack, are saying attack. Black Day? Atta attack on Indian Army by Pakistan. By Pakistan, uh, the Indian Army is affected, hmm. right? Attacked. Okay, attacked by Pakistan, India, uh, uh, Pakistan Army. So that is the reason we are calling it as a Black Day. But someone uh, celebrating, uh, I mean, uh, happily, it's okay, no problem. Okay, I'm so now. So for each and everything there should be one information okay there should be one information after a few years later i mean uh, of, i mean later i mean after a few years if anyone asking that information you are able to say that how it is possible means that information or the data is storing somewhere you are collecting that you are ready to say that so it means once we store the data anywhere we can get that easily as of now going forward going forward everyone even if you're asking even if you're asking five to six years kid what is what it is he will google it he will get the answer whatever it is if he's very intelligent means yes or no how it is possible how it is possible something information is storing somewhere from that we are collecting the data from that we are getting that information okay so now so now if you observe that if you observe that, what is the need of the data see we got it we got it somewhere we are storing the data where we are storing the data that will be called as a database now what is the need of database now what is the need of the database so now the databases can store very large number of records the databases can store very large number of record means the huge number of records you can store in your databases okay whatever the data is there you can store in the database okay now coming to here you can get the information you can get the information easily you can get the information quickly it's a human human thought it is or the humans uh, i mean uh, psychology what is the human psychology? Quickly, we need to get whatever I want. Instant Easily, result. I need to get. 
Yes or no? Instant result. Instant result. Right? Yes. So now, if you're storing the data here in the databases, easily you can get that information. Quickly you can get that information. When I'm saying that easily, just writing some queries by writing some queries you can get the data from the database okay quickly it is okay it will not take any uh, i mean uh, minutes and all okay it will not take anything minutes and all okay now easy to add new data and to edit data okay easy to add new data and easy to edit your data okay and apart from that the data changes on a regular basis the data changes on a regular basis you can do that by writing the queries okay and one more thing and one more thing i'm saying that sql sql is not a coding language it's a query language it is structural query language it is. going forward we'll see that okay going forward we'll see that everyone can learn it even if you guys are studying 10th standards you can learn it okay now you can share that huge data set of you can share that huge data set among many peoples okay you can share huge data set among many peoples okay so that's why we need a, some database okay these databases to see something we are storing the data in your database okay we need to collect that information see for example i need to know something about this what do you have to do you need to go to the uh, i mean you are going to the google and you are searching that how you are searching that how you are searching that by giving something information to as a input to your google search box okay now you will get it so what you are giving something input you are giving to the google so okay where the data is there it is collecting that quickly and that it is giving you the output now you are getting that yes or no now you are getting that okay what is mean by that we need to give something information or input to as a input to your database it will be giving that now how how you are giving that input that you need to understand here while you're learning the sql how you're giving that input to that your database so what is going on here so what is going on here in generally if you need to get any information what you are doing you are going to communicate with the google yes or no whatever you want you can get it you are going to communicating with the google okay whether you can communicate with by using the voice whether you want to communicate with by giving any input yes or no so the same way the same way in the google data in the google data in the google whatever the data is there by giving any communication okay as the input it is giving that output for you okay the same thing what will happen you know in the database okay in the databases the data will be storing as tabular form okay from the tabular form you need to retrieve the, some data you need to get some data from there okay from there so how you will get it how you will get it means you need to do communicate with the database okay you need to communicate with the database now by by communicating with the database by communicating with the database you will get that output however you want whatever you want but the thing is but the thing is how you can communicate with the database how you can communicate with the database that is the thing you have to do that okay that is the thing you have to know here is that clear clear everyone what i'm trying to say please try to understand it okay now we are going to see need of the database we have seen that need of the database we have seen that now we are going to see see here the database is there we need to get some information we need to get some data okay from the database so for that we need to communicate with the database if we need to communicate with the database we should need one technology that is sql that is exactly the sql wherever the data you have been stored okay the database in the database to come to get that information to get the data from the database you need to communicate with the database to communicate with the database there is one language which is sql language which is sql 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 is stands for structure query language okay the sql is stands for structure query language okay why it is why it is means it is used to communicate with the databases okay why because it is used to communicate with the database clear so in the sql statements are see the sql statements are used to perform the tasks such as updates the data in database see once you stored your data in your uh, in your databases okay 
you can communicate with the database to get that information whatever you want and apart from that you can use some statements to to perform some tasks what are the what type of tasks you can update your data okay you can update your data in your database you can retrieve the data from the database not only this we are having some statements we will discuss going forward some some statements are there insert create and update delete these type of statements we do have we are going to discussing also those things no need to worry about it okay so what is you need to know here just try to understand what is sql it is okay just try to understand simply no need to worry about it here. okay now some common database management systems that uses sql sir oracle sybase microsoft sql server okay why i am saying that database management system dbms database management system in the database see in the database management system we are going to store in the data as a tabular form okay while you while, when i'm saying the storing the data you can store the data yourself by writing the queries you can insert the tables okay you can store the files the ecsv files and excel files whatever the files are there you can store the data whatever the data you do have in your database okay once you store that you can communicate with the database you can get you can retrieve your data okay now some common database management systems that are users sql sir okay which are microsoft sql server and sybase and oracle okay to store the data something uh, some examples those are okay some examples those are now we discuss something about sql is a simply and short uh, uh, definitions these are sql stands for structure query language and it is used to communicate with the database by writing the sql statements uh, by using the sql statements you can perform some tasks okay such as updating the data in a database okay or you can retrieve your data from the database okay some common database management systems that are using the sql are something mysql server and sybase one is there and when we are having one more thing oracle okay and one more thing i let you know that one more thing i let you know that okay see for example you are uh, everyone from india only right everyone from india only right who are attending the session for today yes, yes sir. sir yes sir so now so uh, and uh, you guys are regional language you know only the telugu and hindi yes or no yes uh, anyone know other languages i mean no uh, tamil kannada malayalam no anyone know that yes i do know bengali bengali super do you know hindi yes i know hindi very well okay yes, thank you so much hindi. see if you know the hindi okay if you know the hindi in india you can surveil anywhere yes or yes. no yes if you know only the telugu where you can surveil only telugu state only telugu state only the telangana states. and andhra pradesh andhra pradesh both i mean both yeah both telangana and ap states only you can survey okay so why i'm saying that is see we are having the sequel okay if you know mm. that query language the structural query language i can communicate with any one database like if you know the hindi language you can you can survey you can communicate with any one in india who knows the uh, the hindi right see for example you know that english where you can survey global wide wide global globally you can survey why because english is english anywhere international language Yes. international language right yes sir no english is english anywhere it is english only you can communicate anyone if you go out if you go any uh, i mean i mean any one country you can communicate with anyone they can understand easily yes sir no but if you are communicating yes. anyone uh, anywhere hindi and english i mean anywhere hindi and telugu no is it is it good no it is no. you can survey in your country only you National so language. that is the thing what i am trying to say is the sql is the structure query language is common to any one database okay if you learn that query language you can communicate anywhere any one database okay 
so now that's see uh, now we are going to see that what is sql exactly we know something uh, introduction about the sql here what is sql see the sql is a programming language used to manage and manipulate the data stored in a relational databases in the data see when i'm saying the data relational database means i told you that here database management systems rdbms okay relational database management system rdbms so wherever you can store that relation of uh, the data okay wherever you can store that in the relational database management system okay if you store the data you can you can communicate with that with the help of the databases okay sorry with the help of the writing some query languages okay so widely used in the data science for the data analysis and data management the sqlities okay and one more thing they mention something about the programming language here but actually the sql is not a programming language it is a structural query language it is okay it is a structural query language it is a database management tool only okay it is a database management tool you know i mean uh, uh, no, which is known as rdbms so here we are having some database management uh, uh, tools are there which is mysql and postgre sql mysql server oracle database and sql lite these are some examples only okay these are only some examples now now if you learn that sql i mean if you learn that query language structural query language you are able to communicate with the mysql database you are able to communicate with able to communicate with postgre sql you are able to communicate with sql server you are able to communicate with oracle database you are able to communicate with sql i mean sql lite why because the language is same but there should be some variation see if you observe that even we know the telugu okay even you are uh, in telugu uh, i mean telugu students i mean uh, telugu persons in andhra and telangana there will be some changes what is that the language is same but what you, what the, the difference will be there accent slang the slang yes, sir no so yes. the uh, the language is same but there will be a few differences okay so which means if you learn that query language you can communicate with any one database that's what i'm trying to say everyone clear clear everyone what i'm trying to say here right so what is sql what is sql we have seen that what is sql we have seen that now we are going to saying that see i'm saying that you can store the data you can store the data in the databases but but if you know if you know how you can store that see i can store the data i can store the data means not only uh, records right i do have some images i do have some videos okay how you can store those all things even if i do have some files also i can store okay do you know anyone this what is this hard disk hard disk what is this ssd what is this pen drive pen drive okay sorry for asking these questions uh, okay but uh, just uh, we need to understand this anyone using this right now pen drive sir still using sir still using yeah. pen drives only yes memory cards are this? using the uh, webcams inside the webcams and outside the webcams yeah uh, for that is mandatory for that is mandatory right cars extra are using mm -hmm. sorry memory cards memory cards in cars also they are yeah. using yeah, yeah, yeah. external hard drives also yeah external hard drives yes. external Externally, we are using that, right? Uh, I okay. I mean, external hard drives so, also there, like. Uh, mm. Mm. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you so much. See now, if you observe that, is there right now? What is this? Pardon? The disk. The disk. The yeah, disk. Uh, what hard I disk. can call this as? when i'm studying com, com, uh, when when i'm studying compare disk compare disk compare disk what it is use of this 
in even in this disk also you can store your data yes sir. what type of data the multimedia data we can store the media data yes or no this all yes, the, audio. this all these these all things are used to store your information why 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 we need recollect to store that information and all to recollect to store, recollection for storage to get recollect okay yeah. for storage purpose we are using these equipments these equipments we are using that see mostly as of now some you someone using this pen drives and card drives also. yes or no rarely someone using this while i'm uh, studying uh, i think uh, btec third year or uh, fourth year i used this i used this yes sd card sd card sd cards right sd cards and uh, one more thing past five years i didn't see I didn't sure, see. Sir, right. This one, memory cards. Past five years, I didn't see. I'm using only the pen drive as of now. Sorry, only the pen drive. The card reader also, I'm, uh, the card drive also, I'm not using that. Okay. Why? Because what is the difference? Why I'm not using these all things? Because Very mobile simple, were, right? Uh, hmm. No, what mobile were not. Uh, uh manufacturing with uh, give, not i mean they are giving inbuilt storage only for mobiles so no need of uh, sd cards i think okay so no need of sd cards okay but within this within this small chip i can store my data yes or no i can store my data okay so however you are going to store in your data the purpose is to recollect whatever it is whatever it is yes or no yes. whatever it is now how this data is going to storing in here or in this in these devices how the data is in this all devices however that whatever the data even if i want to store the files i can store even if i want to store images and media okay whatever the media related i can store whatever i want i can store okay now this all about this all about storing purpose okay how the data is storing in media only right yes or no yes or no yeah now now i'm having something i'm having something i'm doing one business okay i'm doing one business whatever it is uh anything uh i can consider it as a, a manufacturing uh, i mean a manufacturing industry i do have i'm doing something or else i do have a pharma industry whatever it is do you know anyone aware on the pharma industries? Yes, I am aware of. Yeah, how you know that? In the past 2008, I worked on that power plant. Okay, so far. As yet? Planning year? department. Planning department engineer. Okay, fine, so far. Planning Don't department think. engineer. Okay, fine. So now, uh, let me know, let me know one thing, okay? In the pharma industries, they will be manufacturing, I mean, something medicine, right? Yes or no? Yes. Uh, yes, you yes. Know, in, the, in reactors, they will be mixing something. Okay. They will be do oh, some batches and all. Okay. To do that, what they will do? They will be, uh, they will uh, follow some formulas, you know? Do you know the form, uh, some formulas, the chemical formulas and all? Okay. Mm. They will be maintaining uh, something data about for each and every each and every batches while they are manufacturing that product yes or no so yes. they will be maintaining something data as of now see I'm, uh, for example I, I do have a pharma industry i need to maintain something data apart from the product information apart from the product information i will be have something about the labor information also so where i can store is it uh, possible to store in uh, i mean uh, these devices I can store, but if I need to collect that much of uh, information, is it possible to get it quickly and easily? Not, not possible. So what I have to do about the employees or the laborers or the workers who are there, who are the I mean who are the working there, what are the batches are there, how many I mean how many I mean uh, these all uh, reactors are there, 
the entire about thing the inform information about all the interest industry they will be store something in one database why why because whenever they want whenever they want to analyze that okay see they are manufacturing something why they need they need to they need to do sale right yes or no mm -hmm. they need to do sale if they are doing the sales the business everywhere every businessman will be every businessman will store some data okay every businessman will be thinking that only analyzing of the data okay see once you join in any one organization they will be collecting some something information about you okay where they are giving where they are going to store in? some excel sheets and all right yes or no you can take anywhere okay so uh, why they are storing in excel only in admin person only they will be storing that okay if the if the data is big it means if the data is huge see the plants are mini plants are there they need to collect the all the employees of data yes or no they need to collect the all the employees of data apart from that the product data also they need to store that okay for that what they will doing that what they are doing that the huge amount of data they need to store that huge amount of data they need to analyze okay no one will store directly in the sql okay they will be they uh, i mean they will be storing the data in somewhere from that from that source they will be importing or collecting the data or else some the, uh, from that only they will be creating some tables and all in the databases and then someone will develop that the data in the sql databases whenever they having to uh, thought to analyze the data they will be get that from the database how it is who will do that the database developers will do that okay so what is mean by a sql database the developers what you can do you have to insert your data it means you need to maintain someone will need to maintain that existing data someone need to store the data in the databases as of the requirements of your clients okay as of the requirements of your clients you need to store some data in the databases and someone will be giving you the role to maintain that existed data clear clear now now what is that how the data will be storage in the databases okay how the data will be stored in the database the data will be stored in the database in the tabular form okay there will be there will be in particular columns and fields and rows okay there will be particular fields and rows okay see whenever you are going to inserting any data you should have to create some tables in the tables you should have to create some columns for so for that columns also you need to give some records okay or else you can export i mean you can import the data uh, you can import some csv files into the sql also okay how the data will be stored in the database means in tabular form okay in tabular form we are going to store in the data clear everyone clear everyone now just sorry are you getting what i'm trying to say everyone clear right yes okay fine now now i'm going to giving you one more thing one more thing please observe carefully that what is this the importance of the sql why we are going to see that why we are going to see that i told you that why my sql we are going to using that which the relational database environments do professional developers using okay mostly that my sql okay and later that posting the sql and sql it is and sql it is okay and uh, uh, sql server it is Mar uh, maria db and oracle ibm this uh, this is about something one example for that okay and one more thing uh, how to say that we need to okay we'll see that also we'll see the olap and oltp while we are discussing olap and oltp i'll let you know that. don't worry about it okay now now coming to this okay 
we're having something the data as of we know what is the human psychology we know that what is that human psychology what is that instantly result we need to get yes or no just give me a second someone remove back to background Yeah, uh, sorry for the interrupt. Sorry for the interrupt. Sorry for that. Am I audible to you guys? Yes, audible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fine. So now we are going to see something about here. I have a small question. Yes, please. What's the main difference between SQL and MySQL? We'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. First, we need to understand uh, uh, what is the things we are going to see. I'll let you know that everything. I'll let you know. Okay, everything Fine. I let you know. Okay, please try to attend my demo sessions. You will get a good picture about MySQL. Why we are going to using the MySQL? What is the differences between? What are the differences are there in those MySQL and MySQL, uh, MySQL and SQL server? You will get it. You don't worry about it. Just listen carefully what I'm trying to say. You will get. Okay, no need to worry. Uh, definitely, everyone asking question. This only. What is the difference between MySQL and SQL Server? Why I need to go for the MySQL only? Both are same uh, query languages. You are saying that, but what is the difference between them? The general question it is. I'll give you a simple answer. Just give me a uh, just give me some time. I'll let you know that. Okay. Going forward, we'll see that everything. We'll see that. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now, now we are going to see uh, something about the SQL. Okay. We are having one more concept we need to know in the SQL. Okay, we are having one more concept we need to know in the SQL, which is OLAP, OLDP. Okay, OLAP, OLDP. Okay, we are having the databases. Okay, there are two types of the databases are there. Two different types of databases are there. Okay, so two types of databases and two different ways of processing also is there. The data will be processing in two different ways. Okay, the databases also two different types are there. Okay, see these are all. Uh, so these two, we are going to see that. Just I'll just I'll try to explain the OLAP today. Okay, uh, and if there is time, means I'll let, I'll try to explain that OLT, OLTP and OLAP both. Or else I will explain that OLTP only. Okay, OLTP. Now there are two types of databases are there, and two different ways of the data processing is there. Now what is the data processing? Okay, now what is the data processing? I'll let you know that. Okay. The data processing means see everyone having the real time experience with your uh, I mean debit cards. Yes or no? You guys are know the debit cards. Okay. What is the process it is? What is the process it is? What is going on uh, at ATM? Uh, I mean at ATM store. I mean ATM machine. See we know we need to initially insert your card. Okay. Once we did in, uh, insert our card, okay, directly it will be asking something. What it will be asking? Whether you need to get withdraw money or else you need to deposit money. If you are working, if you are using that deposit mission, once you inserted that ATM uh, ATM card in that, okay, debit card in that, it will be asking whether you need to, uh, I mean, withdraw or credit. While you are withdrawing your money, okay. It will be asking something about uh, uh, your details. Okay, are you giving that my name is Manikanta, my account is uh, uh, something, and uh, I do have this much of amount. I need to get this much of amount from this, this much of amount. Is it uh, uh, doing that you manually? Is it doing? Are you doing this as manually? No. No, right. So what you are doing that? 
What you are doing that? Just the data to is stored. Data already stored in that. So give the options. Okay. See, the data is stored in your card only. Okay. The card will be having some access from the database where your bank is there. Okay. You are inserting some card. Okay. There you are entering something about your PIN number. Okay. Once you, uh, I mean, once you got your money. Okay. Once you got your money, what will happen? What will happen? It will show the balance. Immediately, immediately you will get a message. Immediately you will get a message. How much amount you did withdrawal? Okay. How much amount is there in your account? We, I mean, your account details and all you will get as a, I mean, you will get through a message. Yes or no? Some options are there. Yes, sir. Some options will be there. Yes. So, if anyone are uh, getting that message, means how is that possible? How is that possible? Is it, it ATM is machine a, is doing that message? That is process, data processing. The data is processing there. Okay. Within fraction of the seconds. Within fraction of the seconds, once you did withdrawal, you will get a message. Once you do the withdrawal, you will get a message. Yes. Yes or no? So the data is, uh, I mean, processing within fraction of the seconds. Now, that data processing will be called as OLTP, Online Transaction Processing. A best example for that. A best example for that. Okay. OLTP. What is that OLTP? Online Transaction Processing it is. What is that? online transaction processing it is OLTP when you are getting the data or the I mean, I mean when you are getting the transactions when the data is processing quickly or very fast or within fraction of the seconds will be called as one database which is OLTP databases clear everyone what is OLTP online transaction processing clear sir when you will get the data, when you will get that information quickly and fast, the data processing, when it will be having the fast, I mean, fast reply and quick reply, it will be called as a OLTP. It means within fraction of the seconds, the data will be processing. Clear? Okay, yeah. sir. Clear? Okay. Clear. Now, okay. coming to this OLTP, coming to this OLTP, okay, I'll ask you something about you. Everyone using that Amazon, right? Amazon. Everyone using the Amazon only, right? To get any one, uh, I mean, the products and all, any one uh, yes. you need to order, means you more can order, than, right? More than two or three is the Ajio, uh, Flipkart, yes, Amazon. Yes. Wherever it is. But uh, I'll mm -hmm. give you a simple example. Why? Because I did work with Amazon. I have good knowledge on that. How they will be analyzed that. That's why I'm choosing that. I'll explain you how it is. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to say is, for example, for example, See, uh, actually, um, for the next month, I'm going to buying one mobile. Okay. For the next month, I'm going to buying one mobile, which is iPhone. Okay. Which is iPhone. I'm going to uh, buy that. Now, what I will do is, I'll go to the Amazon. Okay. I'll go to the Amazon. Then I'll search for mobile. But iPhone, when I'm searching that, it is showing that 74,000 or 76,000 is there one thing. And one more mobile is there, 94,000, 95,000 okay i need to buy that mobile which is highest cost 95000 or 95 94 to 95000 something is there i need to buy it if i need to buy it what i will do is as of now i don't have the money okay as of now i don't have the money for the end of the month okay for the month ending i'll get some money okay i'll get some money i mean from my organization they will get something from the okay whatever it is okay i do have many income insurance or income sources i'll get some money i have a plan to buy it what i will do is immediately i will be adding that into the cart okay immediately i will be adding into the cart now once i did add it to the cart the cost is very high which is ninety four thousand. there is no any discount here okay there is no any discount the original cost it is but what i will do is once i did add it okay but what i will do is once i did added that into my cart once i did added into that my cart 
in that cart what will happen is the data will be having about me someone is adding that product in your someone will be adding that product in your cart who will analyze that who will analyze that data the data the database in the database there will be some data processing that will be analyzing that okay the story is not completed i let you know that so i added the date uh, added the product into that cart okay in that cart in that cart whatever that product i added i'm not purchasing today tomorrow again i'm going to add it tomorrow again i'm going to logging into that okay tomorrow again i'm going to uh, logging into amazon again i'm checking that there is no any discount okay fine there is no any discount every day i'm checking okay every day i'm checking no after five to six date i regularly i'm going into amazon regularly i'm checking into my cart regularly i'm checking into that okay now after five to six days what will happen you know after five to six days what will happen you know the amazon the will be will giving be... Decrease. the amazon will be giving me decreasing it means they will try to giving something discount for me how it is to possible these to four me. to five days and six date how many times i'm logged in how many times i'm checking how many times i'm logging out when i'm going to log in when i'm going to log out this is all the data processing will be analyzing by amazon database okay see not only uh, see the uh, i mean the employees will not analyze initially initially someone will analyze the data will be shared to someone they uh, they will be trying to inform that to project i mean uh, i mean the production management or whoever it is okay they will be trying to giving some discount to me so the person the customer is uh, ready to buy our product but he is checking something about the i mean i think he is waiting something about the discount so we need to provide something discount okay so they will be providing to me after that i'll get it before one month before end of the month i'll get it now what is going on here who did analyze this all the things who did analyze this all the things the data see whatever however i'm uh, logging whenever i'm logging into that whenever i'm opening these all the things will be processing something okay the data about me about me the processing will be going on there okay that process someone will be analyzing okay someone will be analyzing that process okay the result will be getting by late it means the data processing is not going to the data process is not going to fast that will be called as olap analyze see to analyze any one data it will be taking some time right okay here it is a transaction it is directly you can get within fraction of the seconds but here to analyze anything uh, i mean it needs some time so it is the late processing of the data which is olap and oltp okay now let me know in these two yes sir late means it means you are saying i mean in words uh, it's taking four to five days that means it's no, taking no, no, some no, 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 delay. No, I'm saying that four to five days. See, some uh, late processing it is. That's it. I'm saying that exactly days and uh, hours. I'm not saying that. It will taking uh, with. Uh, I mean, uh, to uh, in, internally, if it, if it needs to analyze, means it will take some time. Uh, I mean, uh, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, whatever it is. Okay, whatever it is. But to analyze that, the data, all the things it needs to uh, the pro to process the data, it needs to analyze. It needs to analyze and then only it will be giving the result but here no need to analyze directly it will be transaction did you got my it point or not yes sir it is a little bit faster than ONIP. exactly that's what i'm trying to say for that only i did created this much story if i'm not giving this story I think uh, uh, should the, be not interest on this. Since the primary goal is for OLAP services, only data analysis they will do. They won't do data processing, right? Exactly. See, data processing they do, but when of, when you will get the result after analyzing. Analyzing. 
See, if you need to data, if you need to process your data internally, it needs to analyze. Internally, it needs but, to analyze. But coming to OLTP, the transaction, OLTP, no need to analyze. Directly, it can give. Instantly. It's very uh, faster. Yes, instantly. It is very fast compared to OLAP. Yeah, because okay. of analysis only it took some time then the world did. exactly yes 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 that's what i'm trying to say man thank you for understanding thank you sir yeah so now here now any, let me know any, yes any examples between these two things mm, OLTP, I give no. the OLTP for OLTP and OLAP real-time yes. examples are given for you which is amazon and which is atm mission Everyone okay. can understand it. Everyone can understand it. I think. I thought everyone mm -hmm. can understand what is what will be happening in the ATM mission. What will be happening in the Amazon application? Application is okay. Hmm. The requirements are different, no? In same it's requirement. Only. In, in as same per requir your requirement, as per your requirement, the data processing in two ways, which is this one and this one so we are having two date two types of databases okay as per your requirement you are going to using that okay if i need to uh, use in any one uh, i'll give you a simple example okay i'll give you a simple example you need to get uh, i mean for example uh, what is the human psychology we know that who which one you will prefer as per your requirement you will you will prefer that right see say so now there is a transaction is going fast now which one you will prefer the transaction is going fast. The transaction is going to give are uh, going to giving you late. Which one you will prefer? Obviously, you will prefer this only. Whatever the uh, whatever the data processing you are getting from this, the, from this only both both result is same. Both both result is same. What is the database? We know that, right? What is the database? We know that. Storing the data, we can recollect the data. Okay. We can retrieve the data, but if while you are retrieving the data, if it is giving some, it is if it is taking some time, what you will do? You don't have the patience to wait for that, right? I mean sir, to no? say, for, hmm. I mean to say, sir, for same application, yes. it giving means for the same application. If we are using the OLTP and OLAP, means. It only analysis it, it will do that OLDP, but OLDP it will give instant transaction processing result, right? You are saying yes, yes. yes. See both can ability. give the result, both can give the result, both can give the result, the same result, but but the thing is see, just give me a second. For same thing, any live example. Why? Because ATM and Amazon is not the best example in my view. Why? Because applications okay. are different. Amazon applications are different. ATM is different. Why? Because the currency we are, we need that. That's why we are opting for the ATM. But Amazon it's different. We are purchasing one thing. Means mm -hmm. we will think and we will analyze it. The applications are different. For same applications, we need this example for this OLTP and OLAP. I that mean to we will see in practical. That we will see in practical. I'll show you in practical. Okay. Everyone can get. Clear? Just I'm giving uh, a simple uh, information about the basic information about the OLAP and OLTP. Okay. Fine. See, oh, uh, this is the demo one. Okay, for the demo two. Okay, we'll see the differences between the OLAP and OLTP. And someone is asking the best example for him. Okay, I will try to get it for tomorrow. Okay. As of now, in my uh, my uh, view, uh, I'm giving a simple example to everyone can understand why. Because see, uh, everyone not uh, I mean uh, uh, everyone can understand why. Because everyone can use that those applications and ATM machines. So for that, uh, everyone can understand means for that I'm giving this example. Okay, if you need to get uh, the real time or uh, the data examples means I will let you know that. Okay, clear.
Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Sir, can we so, get this PPT? Hmm, PPT, see the documents and uh, the queries, what we are discussing. Okay, once uh, the regular classes has been started, you will get it. All the things. The PPTs, whatever we are uh, we're explaining to you. Okay, the document and the queries, what we are writing, the data sets, all the things I will provide for you. The, uh, sir, another question. Okay. Yes, please. For this OLTP and for this OLAP, coming mm -hmm. for the volume of data. Okay. What's the difference, main volume of the data? See, while we are discussing the differences between OLAP and OLTP, I'll let you know everything. As of now, I discussed what is OLAP and what is OLTP. I did not differentiate these two. Just be patient for the next demo. Okay, I'll let you uh, Hello, sir. Yes, please. Hello. Yes, yeah, please. I have a query. Like, uh, this uh, SQL coaching will be for one month? 45 days it is. 45? Okay, yes. after that only we will get placement. Placement? After that only? Within you can get the placement. No. Hmm. No, within 45 days we will get or after 45 days? If you, see, a mean well if you are trying to attend the attending the interviews in 45 days. See, for example, parallelly someone, uh, I mean, uh, creating the resumes and all, someone will be uh, trying to attend the interviews in uh, within the 45 days they will end of the session i mean end of the course someone uh, i mean ready to attend the interview anyone right anyone uh, anyone interview they are ready to attend that okay okay you, you so, will uh, train on interview also yes i will giving you the support for the interviews how you can answer the questions what are the questions uh, majorly they will ask how, you, how they will be checking you uh, how much knowledge you do you have so what are the questions they will be uh, i mean uh, trying to ask you i mean while you are attending any one interview what type of questions you will face okay uh, the interview questions the interview prospect also i will teach you okay hmm. thank you yeah thanks so much anyone any questions no sir thank you so much for attending this demo okay uh, if anyone interested please uh, contact to my team they will be trying to or uh, i mean enroll this course so we are having uh, i mean two more demo sessions you can attend that okay you'll get uh, uh, good information about the sequel and then we will start that regular classes for the sequel okay okay yeah so thank you for joining everyone bye bye